So my name's uh, Ian Clark. Uh, I'm born in Ireland, but I've lived in Uganda over 30 years. Uh, uh, I first of all came out with uh, Church Mission Society, the Anglican Mission. And the first project that uh, I did with my wife and family, uh, we started a hospital in Luero after the war in 1988. This uh, called Chuoco. And uh, we ran that project for about five or six years. Subsequent to that, I came back to Kampala, this time just as a private person, and uh, with the aim of, of starting a hospital. About uh, seven years ago, I had developed the hospital to a level where I had taken in some uh, minority partners before that, about 10 years ago. And then I was approached uh, by a, a large company in Mauritius, which wished to extend a medical footprint, a healthcare footprint in Africa. And uh, they, 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 they bought a majority shareholding in the hospital. So there was a change about six, seven years ago when I, obviously I, that released some cash for me and I was able to diversify into some other businesses. So I said, let me, let me develop something in the agribusiness sector. And of course, it's nice uh, being on a farm uh, to go back to your roots. By having the farm, I'd like, to, I'd like to do several things. One is have it as a demonstration farm that the local farmers can see it and see, oh, you can grow potatoes. Mm. You can grow corn, you, uh, you can grow um, coffee well. Uh, we've started on the outgrower scheme with David, whom you met, uh, which I hope that that will improve livelihoods. Mm. So this farm is also an attempt uh, to make my, the Ugandan coffee, Robusta, Good quality, traceable, robusta, and hopefully push the price up a bit. When I was in Ireland before I came here, I I was a general practitioner. I was, you know, I was fairly well off. I was middle class and so on. When I came out to the Lowero Triangle, I had to start over again. Always you have to be prepared to start from very little again. And when I came back to Kampala, another small clinic starting again. And um, let's not forget, in Africa, you need to be there. You need to know what's going on. So you need to get your system of governance, your system of um, corporate governance, you know, and, and those sort of things. We've started in the last couple of seasons to grow seed potatoes. And we have, do you see that shed there that's kind of white, it's got a green roof? Yes. It's a coal store. Mm. So we built this coal store which means that even for rare potatoes, we don't have to sell them when everybody else has them. Mm. So this year, for example, we didn't sell it. We harvested the rare potatoes, but we kept them in the cold store. Mm. And then when the potato prices were going up, then we sold them. Yeah, well, I sort of got into chickens like a lot of people get into these things and then you're like, oh, why did I get into this? Mm. Um, and it actually took me quite some time to get, you know, all these things are quite scientific. So if you're not getting about 80% lay from your chickens, 80% mm. and beyond for mm. a certain number of weeks, mm. and you're not feeding them, I think it's 120 grams yes. per day, then you're not probably not making any money. It's not anything wonderful. But the side side effect is the chicken manure. Now, mm. if you're really pure organic, you're supposed to have cow manure. Uh, but I'm not pure organic, uh, and the chicken manure there's plenty of it, and uh, it it works. You know, okay. it works. Mm. So, I, so I'm happy. To, uh, I'm, I'm happy to have that cycle yes. where I'm able to, okay. to use use things, and it, it's 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 okay. You know, it's settled down into something that, as they say, cleans its nose. But it's not um, it's not highly profitable. I didn't want all my eggs in one basket. We had, you know, proper uh, books of accounts. We had good governance. We had um, uh, a, a good organization. Of course, then someone who's looking for an investment may come and say, can I invest? At that point, someone can say, no, I don't want investment. I'm gonna 
just keep doing this myself. And that's, and so it was the right time for me to sell. And yet at the same time, I didn't leave. I stayed on as chairman for about four or five years after that. Still stay on the board, I'm still a shareholder. Uh, but now the hospital has got professional management and people, and I'm not so much involved apart from board meetings. It's been nice for me to be able to both diversify and then also invest in something like the land where I see the changes on a weekly basis. NSSF, a better life.